When someone you love blocks you, it's them taking the upper hand. It's them removing your power, disempowering you so that they feel that they are in control. And yes, this gives them control because they've removed your ability to express yourself, to say anything, to be heard, and to say your side of the story. Now, unless you've been harassing this person and you've been constantly calling or texting and driving them crazy, they're doing it from a place of ego. They're doing it as a power play. And I would like to speak about how best you can move forward when this happens. I hope that it happens to none of you, but for you to be watching this video, chances are it's happened. But don't worry, it's not happening because of you. It's not happening because of something you said or did. The people that block other people, they do this again and again. They do it usually out of habit, and it makes them feel good. Now, I'm going to talk about what kind of people feel that they need to block others, and when this happens, what you can do about it. Now, my name's Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. Sorry someone blocked you. It's happened to all of us. It's happened to me again and again, and I'm going to talk about why someone would do this. Now, have you ever blocked someone? I'd like to ask you this. And if you did block someone, why did you block them? Why did you feel that need, that moment to block them? I have friends that block people so that they feel that, hey, I'm gonna show him that um, I don't wanna hear from him. I don't wanna allow him to say anything and to hurt him. And usually, they do this deliberately to cause an emotional response in the other person. And they know that when you realize that you've been blocked, that you're going to have this huge surge of emotions come up. And it's only natural that, especially when you love someone, you have such deep feelings of love for someone, when they remove your ability to say, or text, or express yourself in any way, it's like they have told you to just shut up and not say anything, and they don't care about how it is you are, what it is you're doing, what it is you want to say. And they do this for exactly the reason for you to be in pain, for you to feel stuck, for you to feel hurt. And when they do this, it's because they're feeling hurt. They're feeling stuck. They feel this way and they project it onto you. They feel disempowered in some way. And their only way to make a power plan to feel that they're taking their power back and that they have the upper hand over you is for them to block you. This is extremely manipulative. It's manipulative behavior, and it doesn't show the best of character. It's not done with love. It's not done with wisdom. It's not done with knowledge, because someone with love, knowledge, and wisdom, they can hear what it is you have to say, and they know what and how to express themselves. They know how to speak to you, and for a conversation to take place where both get to speak, where both get to say their side of the story. And unless you've been driving this person crazy and you know if it is that, because then you won't be wondering, why did they block me? Because you'll know that you were texting too much, calling too much, driving them crazy. Chances are that's not what you were doing. Chances are that they suddenly decided I'm going to block them. And especially when it happens out of nowhere, when there was no argument, there was nothing that truly happened, and they suddenly just blocked you. Know that this is because something is happening in their lives at the time that they are unable, they feel helpless to deal with. They feel that they're out of control, that they do not have their true power. And by doing this power move on you, they feel good about themselves in some way. It gives them this little surge of energy. But this energy doesn't last for long. It's, it's actually because it's not true energy. It's not true power. It's power of the ego. It's power in their mind. And that's 
very fleeting power. It's gone in an instant. It can last for a little and then it's gone. And that's why sometimes people, when most of the time, when they block you, after a while you'll see that they unblocked you or they'll text you or they'll call you and you'll say, but you had blocked me. What happened? The thing is that when they start get, they stop, sorry, not start, when they stop getting that feeding of energy from you, when their power is no longer being fed by your emotions, by your feelings, by your thoughts, because they, by blocking you, are connected to you in some way. Um, they feel your thoughts. They feel your frustration. They feel your pain. And in some way, yes, it's a sick way, but in some way it feeds them. It gives them this surge of energy. And when slowly this, your attention will shift elsewhere, or you'll say enough is enough. I'm moving forward with happiness and love. I'm doing what makes me feel good for me. And they feel that you've moved on in some way and they don't feel that energy coming to them, that's when they'll come back. That's when they'll pop up again and they'll unblock you. And if you see that they have not dealt with that imbalance within them, that they have not dealt with that lack of power within them, they're not standing in their true power, then know that this is bound to happen sooner or later again, and it will keep happening. People that block others, look, if you have friends that block people from time to time, you'll see that they do it again and again. They have it within them. And you could say, but how do they do that? The thing is they do it with ease because they feed from this. They feed from this power. It gives them this imaginary sense of importance. But it's not true importance. It's not true power. And the only way for you to be in your true power, to have that true feeling that, hey, I'm full of happiness, full of energy, full of love, is if you stand in the power within you. If you love all that you are. I teach this in my Attract Love course. You can check out the link below. It's about you standing in the power within you, in your true power, in your true love, in your true inspiration, and bringing this energy forward in all areas of your life. The more that you find the power within you and you stand in the energy of love and you express love in all that you are and all that you say and all that you do, the more you will attract people in your life who are balanced, who are at that same place as you are within you. And you'll feel that you have better relationships. You'll feel so much happier. You'll feel good because you will have relationships with people who don't come and go, who don't suddenly block you, who are there, and that you can move forward to, together moving into higher and higher frequency, higher and higher vibration, truly um, feeling good that you're here experiencing life. If you want to attract the one that will be there at your side and stay at your side, the one that has found that love within him or her that is standing in their energy, standing in their happiness, standing in their power, then check out this course. I really believe it will change and transform your life to a completely different level. Now, when it is that someone blocks you, do not take it personally. Do not start trying to see what's wrong with you. Why do they not value you? Why do they not see your value? Why do they not see all that you are, all that you've done for them, all that you've shared with them, the moments that meant so much? Them blocking you does not erase these moments. It does not erase your value. It does not erase your power. It does not erase who you are. They have just put a stop to communication with you. And this is most often temporary. Even if it's not temporary, see how it is that you can move forward with better relationships. And I know that when you're so deeply in love with someone and they've blocked you, 
it's extremely hurtful, it's extremely painful. But the more you stand in your power and your energy and your happiness, and every moment you choose what fills you with happiness, what fills you with love, and you keep moving forward, then this energy will slowly be released. You slowly go away and you will find more and more powerful energy coming forward from within you. More and more excitement, more and more inspiration. Each day will be better and better. Each moment will be better and better. And when you start feeling that pain and hurt coming back, let it go and look at something that fills you with happiness. Look at something that you're grateful for, something that inspires you. And do this, move forward with this. Shift your focus away from trying to understand him or her. Why did they block you? What's going on? And shift your focus to what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy. I wish you happiness and love. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also remember to like. May your most beautiful dreams come true.